Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Gaffer and Gear. A couple of weeks ago I had a shoot where we needed to change the colour of the psych wall using lights. So the Sky Panel S60s were perfect for that because of their immense firepower. In this video I'd like to run you through how to use the Master and Slave mode, which is a very handy mode if you want to run more than one Sky Panel and control them as a single unit. Okay, so let's get into putting these lights into master and slave mode. Now, you need a DMX data cable and you need five pin DMX. That's all you need to link them up together. Now, the thing is, you don't need to go into the menus of all the lights. You only need to go into the menu system of the light that is going to be your master. So what I'm gonna do is connect these two lights up and set this one as the master. Now, with the DMX cables in master and slave mode, it doesn't matter which outlet you plug into. You can plug into the DMX in or the DMX out. It doesn't matter. Now I've got these two wired together. I'm going to set this one up as the master by going into the menu. So press the menu button. Scroll down until you get to light control and then click the button. Then scroll down until you get to master and slave mode. Click the button and then select on. Now when you do that, you'll see that the data light turns pink. Now pink on the data light means that this thing is the master and it is sending data out via the DMX. Now exit the menu system by pressing the menu button. Now we can see that both lights are controlled. So I can change my saturation or my hue. Both lights are timing together. Now one thing that's very handy with the master and slave mode on the sky panels is it doesn't matter where the master is in the DMX chain. So for example, I wanna add that one onto the chain. I don't have to connect it to this unit and then loop it around that way. I can connect it anywhere in the data chain at all. It doesn't matter if this thing is in the middle of the data chain, at the start of the data chain, or at the end of the data chain. All I need to do is connect. Now I've got all three lights working together simultaneously. Now, if I want to change which one is the master, you have to turn the previous master off first. So I'll go into the menu, select menu, go down to light control, select that, and then go to master slave mode and select off. Now when you do that, you'll see that the other units will say that DMX is lost. Now, if I want to set this one up as the master, I'll just go into the menu system, select this one as the master. Now, this unit here is controlling all three. Now, if you want to use the Sky Panel remote, just plug it into the head that is set as your master. Wait for the controller to boot up and you're ready to go. So that's master and slave mode. And as you can see, it wasn't very complicated to get three sky panels to work together as a single unit. Uh, if you're hiring sky panels off me and you want to run them in master and slave mode, just remember to ask for a DMX cable so that you can link them together. I'm Andrew Locke, don't forget to click subscribe and hopefully I'll see you on the next episode of Gaffering Gear.